Hola amigos, welcome back to my YouTube channels. In today's lesson, I will show you how to input Chinese character into your Windows 7 or your Windows 10. If your native language is not Chinese and you are learning Chinese, especially learning Putonghua, this video is good for you. You have to learn how to write Chinese in a paper, right? But if you want to type Chinese character into your Word document by using an English keyboard, the English keyboard just like that, this English keyboard, and you may think, how on earth can I type in Chinese character with this English keyboard? Because there's no Chinese character. And if you learn Chinese, you know that Chinese character is very different from one character to another character, one word to another word. The Chinese letter is not like the Western language. They are formed by letters. They are formed by alphabet. But the Chinese characters is formed by an image. One is different to another. So how can we input Chinese into our computer? Fortunately, there are many Chinese computer technical guys thought about it before, years before. They have designed many methods for you to input the Chinese character. I showed you the method here. This method includes the Chang Jie Shu Ru Fa, Chong Ki Xiao Fa. Chang Jie is a shape method using different shape of the keystroke to form the Chinese character one by one. But you have to remember the changes table. It's very difficult at first, but if you remember the character and how to form the Chinese character, you can use this method to type in the Chinese letter. The others, the second one is the Zhu Yin Shu Fa. Zhu Yin Shu Fa is Taiwan Mandarin's pronunciation system. If you learn Chinese in Mandarin and in the Taiwan way, you can use this Zhu Yin. Zhu Yin is the pronunciation system of the Taiwanese language. The third one is the Pin Yin Shu Ru Fa. Pin Yin Shu Ru Fa can use the mainland China's Putonghua pronunciation system to input the Chinese character into your computer using the English keyboard. The fourth one is the Da Wu Ma Shu Ru Fa. Dai Ma Shu Ru Fa. The big five method is using a shared method just like the but this one is very difficult to learn because it's just like you learn the code to input different character in Chinese. There are many many other methods as well. But in this YouTube video, I will show you how to use, how to install the Pinyin Chinese character input method and how to use it to input your Chinese character. If you are learning Mandarin, if you are learning Putonghua, it's very good for you if you can do it by yourself. But in Hong Kong, the most commonly used method by the Hong Kong people is the, is the Changjie Shep method to input the Chinese character. And in this video, I'm using the Changjie input method to input the Chinese character for you. However, if you are foreigners, your native language is not Putonghua, and you are learning Putonghua, Pinyin, pronunciation system, is very, very good for you. I have to emphasize this once more time. See, if you cannot pronounce the Chinese character exactly in the first way, you cannot input the Chinese character into your computer. Therefore, you have to pronounce the Putonghua very exactly in order to input the Chinese character by pinyin. But before our lesson, you have to have some basic knowledge listed below. The prerequisite is that 1. The basic understanding of pinyin. 2. The basic understanding of Zhu Yin Taiwan's Mandarin pronunciation system. These two systems have little bits of difference, but the difference is good enough for you to understand. If you are learning Putonghua, it's okay. Uh, you can type in using Zhu Yin Shu Fa, Taiwan, the Mandarin Shu Fa as well. The basic understanding of Chinese character, of course, you can write some basic Chinese character. So the prerequisite of this lesson is this three point. Are you ready? If you are ready, we go to this table. This table is very complicated at first. But if you want to learn Putonghua or you want to learn Guoyu, you have to learn this pronunciation system. This is the pronunciation system of the Chinese character. How to pronounce one character in Chinese, Mandarin or Putonghua. Of course, not in Cantonese. Cantonese is very different animals. So you concentrate on the Putonghua pronunciation. I pronounce it for you. I'm using a yellow circle to highlight the pronunciation for you. And you see this in this table. It's only the shape. 
this the shape and the English character B to input into your computer. You using B, but the pronunciation of this character, of course, is not B. You can listen carefully. Of course, you can go to to YouTube and search for other pronunciation table and learn from them as well. Making sure that it's not my action. Let's make you pronounce the Putonghua differently from the other people. If you're ready, we go through this pronunciation. Po, po, mo, fo, de, te, ne, le, ge, ke, he, ji. Chi, si, zhi, chi, shi, ru, ji, chi, si. Okay, in the first lesson, I pronounced the consonant. This is the consonant of Chinese pronunciation, and then afterwards is the vowels, and the vowel is a simple vowel or the double vowels. You can pronounce the vowels as well. Are you ready? If you're ready, we pronounce the vowel. From here on, this is the vowel. Yi, wu, yu, ah, o, e, e, i, a, ao, o, an, in. Ang, ng, e, ao, iu, ing, ye, yue, yun. This all the vowel. So you can stop and review this pronunciation one by one. But of course, the prerequisite is that you understand some of the pronunciation, how to pronounce a word. So I show you here some example. This vowel is e, and you can pronounce this character. This character is a car. C e, c. We pronounce ch. Ch is a car in Putonghua. And this one is a, and you pronounce yi, a, ye, 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 ye. Some more thing else. This one pronounce i, boy, bye, 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 bye is right color. 白 is white color. The 白色是 white. Is the 白色是 white color. So you can pronounce with the consonant and the vowels to combine together to pronounce the character. Of course, ah,、uh, in Chinese you write the character, not the pronunciation. The pronunciation is just for you to learn and to present it. This is another table. This table is let you see the pronunciation of the Zhuyin and the pronunciation of the Pinyin. What is the difference between them? In Taiwan, we using Zhuyin. Zhuyin this character, this pronunciation character. And in China, we use this Pinyin just like the English character B represent Bo, P represent Po, M represent Mo, F represent Fo. You use this representation to input the Chinese character into your Microsoft Word. Now I go to another page to show you how I install the Pinyin inputting system to my Windows Ten. Let's go. This is how we install different types of language inputting system. At your lower right corner of your Windows Ten, you can see a language bar. Click on the language bar. You can see all the language. Inputting system that you have installed on your computer. For my computer, you can see I have installed the English input system, Changjie. This two is the Chinese inputting system. This the VIE is the Vietnamese inputting system, and the ESP is the Spanish inputting system. And of course, the English United Kingdom also the English inputting system. And how about if I want to install? And other inputting system. Let me try out this inputting system. How can what can you do with this inputting system? For example, I select English here, and then I click on the my computer. This ah、uh, I have I have opened a Word file, and this Word file I can type in English. 
And how about if I want to type in Chinese character, I click on this language bar as well, and I select the Changjie. If you select the Changjie inputting system, and then you're using the Changjie table, and you can input the Chinese character. Let you see an example, just I input my name. Li Cheng. This is my name, Li Cheng. You're using the Changjie, the inputting system, using the system grammar syntax to input the Chinese character. And if you want to input the Vietnamese character, so if you want to change to a Vietnamese inputting system, you can change it to VIE, the Vietnamese system, and can and then I can using the system to input my name in Vietnamese. This is my name in Vietnamese. Okay, how about if I want to type it in Spanish? I can click on this and select the Spanish inputting system and, and then I can type in Spanish as well. Okay, the last thing is how can I install the Pinyin, the Putonghua inputting system to my computer? I click on the language bar here and then click on the language preference at the lower right corner. And then in here, I scroll down this region and language, I scroll down, I can see I have installed the English system, the Chinese, Taiwan, Hong Kong system, and the Vietnamese system, Spanish system, Espanol, Espanol system. Now I want to install the Pinyin system, I click on the add a language, and then I scroll down this selecting table. When you see here, it's a Chinese, simplified Chinese. This inputting system is the Pinyin inputting system. Zhongwen, Zhonghua, Renmin, Gonghua is the Chinese inputting system of the mainland China, the Pinyin system. So I click on the Pinyin system and then click on Next. And here you can see an option box set, set as my window display language. I turn it off because I want to display the language in English, but just the inputting system is in Chinese, Pinyin. I click on install, and you can see here it's installing the pinging system. What you have to do is just wait the pinging system to install. Okay, after a few minutes of installation, you can see here the Chinese inputting system is already installed on your computer. Just close this setting dialog box. Okay, now I show you how to input the English and also how to input the Chinese using the pinging pronunciation system. If I want to type in some English letter, I just click on the language bar here and select the English, United States. And then I just type in the keyboard, English, not English, England and China. How about if I want to input this Chinese character, Ying Guo or Zhong Guo, I change my inputting system to Chinese Simplified China, it's Microsoft Pinyin system. It's using the Pinyin pronunciation system to input the Chinese character. So I choose this Pinyin system. And then I'm using the Pinyin. And of course, you have to know how to pronounce the Chinese character before you using this Pinyin system, as I said before. You type in Yi Yin Yin. Yi in yin. This one is in. This one is yi. Yi in yin. Yin yin guo. So you click on the yin. Because in Mentonese there are four sound pronunciation is in one character. So you have to know that sound exactly. For example, yin 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 yin. Have three tones of it. So yin guo is the pronunciation of the first the sound will be goes fat. So you select the yin, the first one, yin. And you type in guo, 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 o, gu, o, guo, gu, wo, guo, 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 so, guo, guo is the second tone. So you select the guo, yin guo. This is a simplified Chinese, right? If you understand Chinese, Chinese has two writing lesser system is one is simplified Chinese and one is the traditional Chinese. In traditional Chinese, Guo is not writing like that. Guo is writing another way. So I will show you another way to type in 
the character Guo with the um, Changjie inputting system. But now I'm using the pinyin system. He, a, he, he. Select the he. Zhong, zhong, zhong. Tie in zhi, ong. Tie in z, h, o, n, g. Zhong, zhong, zhong. Select the zhong. The character zhong. Guo, gu, wo, guo. Zhong, guo. This is how you using the pinyin system to input your Chinese character into your Microsoft Word, into your other editing system. So now if you want to present the pronunciation, present the Putonghua pronunciation on the top of this letter, just highlight this letter. And in Windows 10, if you are using Microsoft Word 2016, you can click on this one here, the Phonics Guide. Click on the phonic guys, highlight the character, click on the phonic guys, and then you click OK. You can see all the character with the phonics is displayed in here. I just enlarge the character for you. You can see the pronunciation of the character is on the top of it. And if you have learned the Putonghua, you can pronounce this Chinese character exactly as the mainland Chinese used to pronounce the character letters. But of course, this pronunciation is a little bit different from the Taiwanese and also it's a little, little bit different from the Hong Kongese. So there's two kinds of language pronunciation. One is in mainland China, one is in the Taiwan. Their pronunciation have a little bit of different. You have to remember that the pinyin truva, the pinyin inputting system is for the mainland China Putonghua emulating system. You can try another Chinese character as well. But in this lesson, I just stop here and I will continue in another lesson for you and will show you how to pronounce each character with different consonant and different vowels of a Chinese character. And then you can also learn the Putonghua as well. So, adio, hasta luego. Bye bye. Jiajian for now. Hasta luego. See you on the next lesson.